yo yo what's going on man welcome back to another asmr video welcome back to nicolodeon asmr if you're new welcome to my channel welcome to paradise you feel me go ahead press that subscribe button join the family um and just just welcome man welcome man i'm so i'm just i'm so happy to have you here man i'm so happy to have you here all right so in today's video i'm gonna do another little ramble slash chit chat slash life update type of thing and i got some Got a little bit of tea with me. <sighs> this is black rose tea. It's supposed to be good for digestion, uh, good for like releasing stress and all that good stuff. So, if you want to try it out, it's right there. Um, so yeah, man, welcome back to another video. I know I ain't, I ain't been on here in a minute. I can make I can make excuses and all that stuff, but honestly, man, life just been crazy. Life has been crazy, but it's been crazy in kind of a good way, honestly. Um, yeah, life has been crazy. I literally been growing out a beard. Like that's how crazy it's been. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna cut it off. I think I'm just gonna grow it out. I kind of want to go into like a like another beard arc. I used to have a beard like a few years ago, and I just it was just growing, but it wasn't growing enough, so I cut it off. Um, so yeah. Where have I been? Where has Nickelodeon ASMR been? Um, it's like, well, it's been like a week or two that I have up. I think it's been like a week or something. Um, I've been seeing the comments, all the support, all that stuff. Thank y'all for everything. Y'all don't understand. Um, I will admit, I've been neglecting this channel um, just because I've been focusing a lot on my main channel and trying to get that up and stuff like that. But I realize I have a really, like, y'all are, are doing, y'all are, growing on me honestly um i've been enjoying making these videos because i found i feel like they really help people out in so many ways that's why i enjoy doing it that's why i even enjoy doing youtube in general so um i feel like this really is a good way for me to really just talk i love talking i love getting things off my chest and just the fact that y'all enjoy listening to me talk um it's it's amazing i love it and i'm so grateful for it um but yeah I've just been in my own world, really just trying to find myself, and it's been, honestly, very life-changing. Um, like, the past few weeks have just been a lot of me just healing and growing more into myself and more, and, you know, growing more spiritually and growing physically and just trying to, like, get my life together, man. That's honestly what I've been doing, just trying to get myself together. Um, I've been kind of healing from my old like, past traumas. I've been breaking habits. I've been trying to become, you know, who I was always meant to be. And I feel myself blooming into that person, you know. Because I think, honestly, a few months ago, maybe a few weeks ago, I was just like really at the worst point of my life. And I noticed just over the past few months, I've just been improving and growing and getting better and better and better. But I still feel like it wasn't enough. But honestly, I think everything I've been through up to this point, you know, it's been because of God. And honestly, it just had to happen. So I think, you know, over the time, I've just been finding myself more. I've been finding more peace in the world. I've been finding more peace within myself and really, you know, like discovering my purpose in this on this planet um and that's one to create videos i love making videos um i love helping people out that's really why i do this i love using my experiences using my pain using my stories to make people better and to get them to anything they're going through um i just love i love creating memories i love all that like that's my dream i want to be able to do something you know that makes me happy and that's making y'all happy um so yeah, just been finding peace. I've been spending a lot of time in nature. You know, nature is, is, is so beautiful, man. Just being outside, being surrounded by everything that God created, being surrounded by, you know, all the trees and, and the fresh air and the animals and stuff like that. It's been, it's just been beautiful, man. I feel like I've been on like a very spiritual journey lately, like some type of spiritual awakening. It's been crazy in my life, bro. Um, it's been crazy like i've been meditating a lot i've been praying a lot i've been trying to break old unhealthy habits and like i said it's been crazy um i've been seeing you know 
a lot of angel numbers in my life lately. I've been seeing 444, 222. I've been seeing 222 all the freaking time. Like, yo, um, I've been seeing 777. I think 777 is my number. Like, that's my lucky number. When I was going through, like, a really bad time in my life, like, that's the number I kept seeing before things started to, like, shift into it being better. And, I don't know. I just, I know, like, deep down, I know that my life is about to, like, go up like i'm about to skyrocket like everything is about to start to make sense for me you know because i think like this whole like past season of my life has just been preparing me and 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 god has been shaping me and molding me into you know the man i'm really supposed to be because who i was a few weeks ago months like months and months and months ago was not me and i had to go through a you know a a period of healing, a period of growth, a period of change, and it was hard, man. It was it was depressing. It was scary, but you know, I kept that faith. I kept I kept going no matter what happened. Cause like y'all, I, I was lost. I was lost, and I used to smoke a lot of weed. That used to be my escape. Weed, um, like indulging in, uh. YouTube and Netflix videos just to, you know, escape from reality. And for to this day, I still watch a lot of YouTube. I love watching YouTube uh, and Netflix and stuff like that. But I've been having to, like, tone down on it and start focusing on things that make me better. You know, I had to start focusing on, you know, exercising more. I had to start focusing on eating better, focusing on making these videos, man. I've been so inconsistent with youtube lately like not lately but you know a while ago i've just been so inconsistent i haven't been locked in like i should be and it's like bro if this is my dream if i want it as bad as i say i want it i'm going to go and get it because i was just expecting things to be handed out to me i was expecting god to be like okay here's your thousand subscribers here's your hundred thousand subscribers just because you posted that one video like no (laughs) no it doesn't work like that and i just had to get that through my head like um, excuse me, these glasses keep falling down my face. I need to get contacts, bro. I'm trying to get some new contacts soon. Um, anyways. I don't think I'm drinking it right. And it's not even hot anymore. Yo. Anyways. Yeah, I've just been in like a really transformative phase of my life man just been trying to you know find myself find peace you know find my purpose and it's been it's been a helpful it's really been helpful like for real um i've been kind of documenting my journey on my vlog channel uh so if you want to watch that i'll put the link in the description it's uh just search on the guy as you'll see it, n-e-k-h-i-s remember that um once again, I put the link in the description. I've also been documenting my journey on my podcast. It's called Dream Catcher Podcast. I talk about motivation. I talk about health, um, spiritual stuff, things like that. I'll put that link in the description, too. So check out both of those. Um, all of my social medias are in the description as well, if you want to follow me on there. Um, but yeah, <sighs> peace. That's all I've been searching for, man. I've been trying to find peace of mind. Uh, I've been, like I said, meditating a lot, man. Um, spending more time outside. Spending more time making art, creating stuff like that. And it's, it's been so helpful. Because um, I just noticed I've been really distracted. Whether it's me being distracted with, like, social media. I catch myself scrolling on Instagram and Twitter. Like, I used to catch, I used to be on it just scrolling and scrolling and, and absorbing all of that negativity, man. It was not good for me. It was not. But I think as I started to realize, like, yo, the person you're becoming cannot keep doing this stuff. You got to start acting like who you're becoming and not acting like who you were. And that's been my biggest problem, trying to break out of this, like, this, this, this bubble, this cycle that I was stuck in. I was really just stuck in, like, a very negative cycle. And, like, when I started to kind of break out of it, I would get scared and kind of go back into that comfort zone and go back into that negative cycle because, mostly just because of fear. Like, fear of being better, fear of moving forward, fear of growth, like, just seeing myself become, like, even just growing out this beard, like, it was at a point where I would see myself with the beard, I would get scared, and I would just shave it off, like, like, that's how it got, like, I, 
it was crazy. But I think life lately has just been me like adjusting to growth and adjusting to becoming this man that I'm becoming and not this little boy I used to be like I'm always be connected to my inner child and I'm always you know treat myself how my younger self would have been but it's about growth and it's about moving forward and it's about letting go of the past that's also what I've been doing man just trying to forgive myself for the past and, and trying to you know let go of everything that's happened to me in the past and you know did my program just freeze Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, but yeah, I've been just trying to forgive myself for the past and everything I've been through because I've been through so much in my life, man. And it just takes forgiving yourself. It takes letting go of the past and moving forward, man. Like, I'm telling you, once you really start to go in, start meditating, start praying, and start looking back on where you've been and just noticing the growth, noticing the improvement, seeing the times where God was there for you, seeing the times where you thought you were lost, but you somehow found your way back to the top and you kept going. And knowing that even when things start to feel like they're falling apart, they're not falling apart. It's like you're, you're starting to like let go of control so that the universe, so that God, so that source, whatever you want to call it, so that it can build you up, so that it can strengthen you, so that it can teach you a lesson. And when you start to learn from everything going on in your life, you start to understand why things are to happen. You start to understand, okay, this taught me that. Now let me use what it taught me to make myself better. It's like the biggest thing I can take out of what I've been through is just that I'm getting better. Growth. Growth, 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 and more growth, man. Like, I've been growing as a person. I've been growing as a human. I've been growing as a spirit. Like, man, when I tell y'all, like, life has been crazy. I've been, like, searching for a job lately. Um, and that's been a whole different story. Like, I thought I was going to be moving out of state soon. Um, and honestly, I still might. I don't know. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just focusing more on just making my videos, putting my content out there, um, making myself better, making this money and just staying close to God, staying close to the universe, staying close to source energy, whatever y'all want to call it. You know, um, I noticed lately I've been getting my confidence back. I don't know if it's this, this, if this, this spirit that's going in or what, but I've been getting more confident in myself and I've been walking with my chest down. I've been, you know, talking to more girls. Not really, honestly, not really, but I've noticed more like I've been getting more female attention. I've been getting more attention just in general. I feel like my relationships are getting better, whether that's with my family, with my friends, things like that. I've been, you know, talking to people more. I've just been getting out of my comfort zone, man. Um, and I don't know what it's been. I think it's just been this shift of energy, like this shift in energy. I've been receiving a lot. Like it's been a lot, man. Life has been so good to me lately and I know it's only getting better. Um, and honestly, what it really took was, you know, a mindset shift. You got to shift your perspective. You got to start looking at things a little bit different than the way you are. Cause I was looking at life like I'm so broken. Like, why am I not getting better? Like, why am I so? Why, why is life doing this to me? Why is life bringing me down? That's how I was thinking. And I had to like switch. I had to like turn something in my head. Like, yo, you're growing, you're healing, you're changing, you're becoming better. But it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some some patience. It's gonna take some hard work. But you're gonna get there, man. You're gonna get there. I promise. You gotta keep going, man. Um. And I noticed the more patient I was with life, the more I started to kind of like, yo, remember God is on your side. The universe is on your side. God is within you, making you better. So the more you start to realize that, okay, maybe I'm not who I thought I was. Maybe I'm who I want to be, but who I want to be is even better than who I am right now. If that made any sense. Um. I just think on this journey of, you know, becoming the best version of ourselves, it's going to be a lot of ups and a lot of downs, but I think the moment we change our thinking, instead of look, instead of looking at life like we're broken and we're, and we're scared and we're like lost, start thinking of it as like you're healing, you're growing, you're changing, like 
you're you're leaving an old negative season and entering like a, a, a new season like you're breaking out of your old self and embracing this new version of you that's where i've been lately man like I just been changing and I just been growing and I'm just so grateful to be where I am in life. I'm I'm appreciative of all the opportunities and all the challenges and all the, the obstacles that came my way because they only made me better. They only made me start to love myself more. They only made me start to love life more. They only made me start to appreciate my life more. Because like just like I said, just being in nature, man. It really helps you to start appreciating life and start to understand, like, this is life. Like, of course, it's nice to have money. It's nice to have a good car, a beautiful home. Like, I love all that stuff. I love having, you know, nice clothes. I love having tattoos. I love having jewelry. I, I, I'm not even going to say love. I enjoy it. I like it. It's, it, it, it. It doesn't mean a lot to me, but it means something to me. Like, I'm a very luxury type of guy i'm a lavish type of guy i'm a bougie guy if you if you will say that i like nice things i like expensive things and i should not have to feel bad about it but at the same time you gotta understand like all of this material stuff it's so temporary it is so temporary it does not fulfill me it's nice i love it i appreciate it but it does not fulfill me as a person you know and you know as you know a spirit within a body you know a person a descendant of no not descendant um what am i trying to say an extension of god an extension of source an extension of the universe you know experiencing life through this body through this physical body there's a bigger purpose to everyone's life deep within your heart there is a bigger i sound like a i sound like a gazer 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 right now but that's the truth, right? Like, we are energies. We are spirits. We are extensions of God. You know, God is within us. God is around us, you know. Um, and I felt like we were all put here for a purpose. We were all put here to explore some type of lifetime. We were here to make friends. We were here to build relationships. We are here to make the world better in some type of way. You know, God gave us all something specific about us, whether it's a talent or something, you know, he gave that to us to really use it to our advantage. And I want to be able to use my voice, use my art, use my passion for making people better to really fuel my life, to drive myself to being better, to being the best I can be. And along this journey, along this spiritual journey, of course, I'm going to, you know, accumulate toys and material things. I'm going to, I'm going to love them, I'm going to appreciate them, but I'm not going to get attached to them. Simple as that, I'm not going to get attached to it. Um, and any advice to anybody who may be, you know, on a spiritual journey or just on a journey in general, trying to find who they really are, trying to find ways to make themselves better, whether you're breaking old habits or, you know, anything. If you're entering a new season of your life, all I can really say is trust the journey, trust the process, enjoy the process. It's going to bring so many downs. It's going to bring a lot of ups. It's going to bring obstacles. It's going to bring solutions. You know, life is meant to teach us. Life is meant to show us things that we may not have known. We're always expanding. We're always growing. We're always exploring, you know, new realities. We're always exploring new perspectives, new everything, man. That's what life is about. Um, Go travel. If you can travel, go travel. Maybe even just drive to a different city. Go see the, go see the world. Get out of your comfort zone. Try new things, you know. That's really the best way to really live Stepping out of your comfort zone, building new habits. It's not easy, but it's worth it, I promise. That's the message to myself and to y'all. Start doing things you normally wouldn't do. Start doing things you may be uncomfortable with. Start doing things that make you happy. And stop doing things that don't make you better. Stop doing the things that harm you instead of helping you. Stop giving your attention. Stop giving your energy into things that do not make you better, uh, to things that do not fulfill you, to people that do not make you better, man. 
I promise you, the people that you keep around you can seriously affect your energy. I've, I've been there firsthand. Like, I've had so many people just drain my energy. It's all love, but they have drained so much of my energy. Just me, either it's me trying to fit in uh, or me trying to get their acceptance or their their approval. And sometimes it's just me, you know, noticing that I'm around the wrong crowd and, and stuff like that. And I don't know, like, just watch what you surround yourself with. Just watch what you surround yourself with and, and just start to find ways that make you better, that make you happy, that make you, you know, growth, that make you growth. That's, like, <laughs> that's not even a phrase, but yeah, I hope this video helped. I hope this video made you better in some type of way. Um, and I hope that you can apply everything I said. Once again, my podcast is in the description. I promise you, you will not regret listening to that. Uh, my vlog channel is in the description as well. That's kind of like my podcast in video form. Um, I got a video dropping on Sunday, and I also just dropped a video yesterday, so go check that out. Um, my social media is there all in the description. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Even though my Twitter is disabled right now, I'm going I'm to I'm get it back. But yeah, um, comment down below. Anything you took from this video, any questions, any suggestions for different videos, um, anything, I respond to comments, I respond to everybody's comment. I love seeing your comments, man. I love the support. I love it all, man. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for almost 400 subscribers. Like, that is crazy. Um, for thank y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.